What are God's work in your life that you have yet to obey? A blessed day, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Our personal relationship with Christ is the foundation of our faith, and our goal is to continue to grow in our relationship with Him until we are united with Him in heaven. But the question is, how do we truly grow in our relationship with Him? One of our full-time missionaries in Couples for Christ community, Fedil Lamsis, shows us an example of how to grow in one's personal relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Fedil is from La Union, Philippines. He started full-time missionary work in 2015 for the Ministry of CFC Youth for Christ. He now serves in the Digital Mission Department of the CFC Global Mission Center. When Fidel was asked by his leaders to move to Agusan del Sur, a province in the southern part of the Philippines, as his new mission area, he felt afraid and full of uncertainty. He wasn't familiar with the place, its culture, and its language. It would also be the first time he would be away from home. The difficulty of obeying God's call to mission became all too real for him during that time. At first, he was really afraid to say yes to the mission. But by God's grace, he was able to trust God, surrendering his fears and doubts to Him. He said yes to his call. Fedil served in the Agusan del Sur for five years where he gained new friends, new home, new family. In his prayers, he realized that even before his leaders asked him to move to Agusan del Sur, God had already prepared the area for him. In our Gospel today, our Lord Jesus Christ told his disciples, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. Jesus reminds us that a true relationship with him goes beyond blood relationships, titles, or how one is addressed in the community. Our relationship with our Lord is based on how faithfully we follow His will, on how we act on His words. Indeed, having a personal relationship with Christ is not easy. It may be easy for us to call Him Lord or Savior or Brother, but that relationship entails faithfulness and obedience to His will. That is the true parameter of a growing relationship with Him. And that is what we are supposed to work on while we are here on earth as we journey in faith to be with Him forever. Pope Francis said, In the Acts of the Apostles, Peter offers a key to the Christian life, to obey God instead of men. It is the great Christian response. This means Listening to God without reservations, without postponements, without calculations. Let us trust that our Lord Jesus Christ will personally lead us to grow in our relationship with Him. For it is His utmost desire that we all draw closer to Him and God the Father. And we must strive every day to listen to His words and to obey. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us personally and for inviting us to respond to your love by having a personal relationship with you, your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. May you give us a grace to listen to your words every day 
and to obey it, so that we may grow closer in our personal relationship with you until our perfect union with you in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless our families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.